taken the uh, sump off. Luckily we didn't run this motor too long, even though we did drop the oil out before we started it. Because there is some all types of stuff in here. Oh, there's a bit of silicon, my favourite. <laughs> that can be your job. What? This. <laughs> what? My job. Oh, cleaning all that shit. Oh, yeah, it's a good job. Yeah, hey, awesome. Oh, I'm very good. There we go. All pulled apart. Looking at her from uh, underneath. Just noticing this residue shit. I don't know what it is. I think it's caked on oil or something. I don't know. Oh, well, we're going to have to take it out. We're going to take it all apart anyway. And we've just got to figure out how to put this back together once she's all pretty and shiny. But nah, we should be okay. Might need a new water pump, I think. But, um, no big surprises. The uh, oil filter on the inside is uh, in excellent condition. Um, but yeah. No, this could have to come apart. It needs a home. Yeah. 100%. Just deciding whether to do a full rebuild. I think the consensus is yes. Yeah. Be stupid not to. Good stuff. All right, I've um, filled all the minor cracks with some filler. Just fiberglass, really. I fixed all the... It was all eaten by rats or something here. I don't know why they'd eat fiberglass, but they certainly had a go at it. And all here. Now, it's gone down to 800 grit all the way around. All the holes like that are filled. Now, as I said, I'm not going to overdo it. It's just a steering wheel. I mean, as long as it's clean and neat and not cracking, I'll be happy. Through the back as well. Filled all the cracks. I'll put some undercoat in it. I'll go inside and let some lunch get that thing off and all on. All right, I just tried something um, that's a common issue not that it's a main issue on Land Rovers, is the original finish of the steering button. Well, it's not really a horn, it's just a cover, steering cover. It's like this wrinkle finish paint. And um, I actually saw this when I went to my local parts supplier and I thought I'd give it a go. And believe it or not, it's pretty much exactly the same stuff. I mean, the wrinkles might not be as as uh, far apart, but when that goes on, I think it'll look pretty good. I think it'll look pretty authentic. Now, just a word of warning: if you do buy it, it takes ages to get like that. It's not a it's not a finish that comes straight away. So, and you've really got to put it on thick. So it's pretty much the opposite to what you think of doing with paint. Usually, with paint, you put it on light coats. This stuff here, whack it on really thick and walk away. It'll take. That took like four or five hours to get like that. So don't be scared. Just uh, give it a go. So it's a duplicolor. It's not a bad thing. It's a good product. Uh, steering wheel's done. I'm not going to put this home at the moment because it's pretty hard to take off. It'll be one of the last things we put back on. She's all done. She not. All right, just doing a small update. Um, at the moment we've done a lot of stuff involving rust and mechanical things and stuff like that. And we've got the big motor rebuild, which will be coming up soon, motor and gearbox rebuild. So just for a change of pace, I thought I'd um, put some of these interior plastics, get them cleaned up and put away for when we rebuild, even though we're at the moment. Um, I had two things that I wanted to try. I wanted to try just cleaning them and see how good they came up and giving them a good scrub. If they come up all right, 
but they do lose their colour. You can't see it real well in this. But they are white and faded, which you sort of can just make out. But uh, I had this spare side cover, and I thought I'd give it a go with some of this um, vinyl and fabric paint. I chose the matte finish. I think matte always looks better than gloss in uh, older vehicles. Just for comparison, that's what it looked like before. Even though they're the same part of different bulkheads, that's actually the original one off the car. That was one I came across through that old bulkhead we had. I'll just give them a good wash with uh, this stuff here. This stuff here I actually found during COVID when every idiot was buying the normal stuff off the, uh, you know, the Coles and Woolies here in Melbourne. I actually found this at a delicatessen of all places. And I, I bought that through necessity. And it is absolutely magnificent. You can even keep clean car parts with it. It's just... Yeah, really, really gets cleans phenomenally well. And what I do is I just give it a key it in with a bit of um, the finest Scotch Bright you can get, just to key it in. And as you can see, I think the end result looks pretty good. It doesn't look um, shiny, which I don't think you want in like a veterans type vehicle. So I will do these bits, I'll catalogue them, put them away, and hopefully in a few months when we're ready to put it all together, it'll all be ready to put straight back on. While we're working through, I just gave these a quick couple of coats. Obviously not the fuse box, I just left it there so it doesn't get lost. Uh, and the final bit. I've got the other bits drying and, you know, Makes it more evident here that it gets this white powder. I mean, you can use stuff like Armor All and the protectant stuff and the rejuvenating stuff, but this is, I think, just too far sun faded. And I don't think, um, as I said, it's not going to turn out garish or shiny as hell, so it'll be all right. And with the vents, these are the ones off the original car. They're not too bad. They are warped, which is quite normal. That's a good one. I've got four sets. I only need two. I'm going to clean them all up. Then pick the best ones. And the other ones I'll give away to anyone who needs a spare set of vents. If anyone's missing any. Happy to do that once the car's done. I won't be doing another Series 3 in a hurry. I'll give you the clue. And um, so I'll clean them all up. We'll see which ones, how they turn out. I've gone through and... Um, Cleaned all the terminals on this side of the fuse box. And in there, I've polished them all up. Didn't have any fuses in it when we got it. I've only got three fuses, but that's all right. Just for test purposes. I have gone through, cleaned them. Checked for continuity. We have it. That one's missing, so I won't even bother. Put that back in the lower dash and that's one less thing we've got to worry about. All right, most of the uh, dashboard panels been given a clean. I'm very happy with the way they turned out. As I said, my recommendation would be to go for the flat white rather than the gloss. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. There are doubles of everything, as I said, some of it is left over from the other bulkhead in the previous episode. So we'll clean them all up and pick the best bits, I suppose. 